I'm going to create a dictionary. I'll call it days. D-A-Y-S. That's equal to open curlies. One. Whoa. Open curlies. One. Colon. Single quotes. Sunday. Comma. Two. Colon. Single quote. Monday. We'll just do one more. Three. Colon. Single quote. Tuesday. Single quote. And close curlies. Now hit enter. The type of data is days. It is class dictionary. Yeah. I'm going to say create a variable called x. And I want you to make a set out of the the variable days, out of the dictionary variable days. And there we go. What type of data is x? It is a set. What is in x? And surprise, 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 we get the keys. The keys. Not the corresponding values for those keys, but the keys themselves of the dictionary. The 1 from Sunday, the 2 from Monday, and the 3 for Tuesday. Wow. Huh. I wonder. What if we change this around? What if I... I'm going to go up to where days is and hit enter. I'm going to change days, D-A-Y-S, D-A-Y-S, to D-A-Y-Z. I'm going to alter this so that now Sunday, the string, is the key, and 1 is the value. Same with 2. Monday will be the key, and 2, the value. Same with Tuesday. Tuesday will be the key, while 3 will be the value. Now I hit enter. Now I'm going to take the value, the variable y, and I'm going to tell the system, make a set out of d-a-y-z, and assign that to y. Hit enter. Well, what type of data, or what type of object, is y? And it's a class set. What is in y? The keys, just like before. Only the keys this time for days was Sunday, Tuesday, and Monday. What do you know? What do you know? So, what have we learned out of this, though? When you take a dictionary and you convert it into a set, the keys, not the corresponding values, but the keys, become the members of the set. And that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.